instant age and instant why can't i speak hi babies welcome to today's video i'm sorry you can see the cardboard box it's huge um this video is going to be so long so i'm literally not even going to bother with a proper intro i did so much black friday shopping um a lot of stuff is what i was looking at already and i waited until there were either extra sales or money off or buy one get one free or something like that because there was lots of stuff that I needed. But anyway, this box is huge, like, and she's heavy. So I know the flaps are up, but it's because if I try and put this down, you can see that this whole box is genuinely full. This box is heavy. It's seriously, seriously full. I'm not going to go through every single piece in detail because we will be here for seven hours. Um, so yeah, all of this was bought either on Black Friday the day or around the Black Friday sales. Uh, there's a mix of different brands, so we'll just go through. Um, and then I will just say some of the stuff from Boots, um, wasn't there wasn't actually a Black Friday discount on. There was Black Friday discounts on certain items, but not all of them. But everything else apart from a couple of the items from Boots had discounts on them, so I did not actually spend as much as this box is worth or I would be crying <laughs> but anyway enough rambling um this video is going to be super long so some of the things that don't need much explanation I'm literally just going to be like this is what this is I'm excited for it and then move on because seriously like this box is seriously massive if I put this flap down at the back it's going to everything collapse <laughs> base in shade 01 so I bought I didn't mean to buy two um I only meant to buy one but here we are I looked on my email and I did actually order two by accident but anyway this is the double size base and this is actually in rumor 02 which I think is the original shade they came out with um anyway I just wanted some more base so that they were doing a big one for less money so I thought yeah let me grab that also grabbed some of the acid rain paints I grabbed a pink which is raver the dark blue, it looks purple here, but it's dark blue, Ecstasy, and then the lilac, which is Ibiza. I do actually have a lilac one, so I don't know why I bought this. Um, I think I was just super excited. The Pilami sale was actually really good. I got their normal coloured bases, so I got three different colours. I got a bright yellow, if I can open this bad boy up. I got a bright, bre bright brello. I can't open it. Got a bright yellow a bright orange so this is ott orange this is yummy yellow and i also picked up a coral i meant to pick up the peach so i'm getting oh i just hit my i meant to pick up the peach color so i think i have to order that a different day these packets are hard to open yeah this is cute in coral she is pretty cute to be fair i have seen so many people use this as blush which is why i ordered it and I also meant to pick up the peach colour, but um, I checked my email and I didn't, didn't put it on there. I was clearly, I don't know what I was thinking every time I ordered from P. Louise because I messed up twice, but whatever. Moving on from a couple things from Boots, I picked up the Liz Earl mask. This is the deep cleansing mask. And I also picked up the Instant Boost, Instant Boost Skin Tonic. These are super cute. These are actually, um, my sister loves Liz L. These are actually for her. I just saw them and thought she might like them as a little present. And I think Liz L, these were from Boots. I think they had, I want to say like 15 or 10% off or something. I don't think I paid full price for these. Which is a nice little gift for her. Also from Boots, I picked up a couple things from the Inky List. I've never tried them before, but I've heard great things. I can't think whose video I saw this in. If I remember, I'll put it in the description, but someone in their video was like, this is, I think it was on Instagram. I think it's Chloe by Monica. I can't remember, but she was raving about this. If it was her, but it was someone raving about this as a new cleanser and my cleanser's out. And there's also, I think you can take off your makeup with it. And then I also picked up the 15% vitamin C and EGF. I don't really know what this is, but it said it is silicone free and low rotation. And it also said it is intensively, oh, helps to intensively brighten and regenerate skin. So I just thought, yeah, I need one of them. Where, whatever it is, I'll like it. <laughs> it's from the Inky List. 
and everyone raves about the Inkey list, then I'll, I'll be fine. Also picked up another cleanser. I don't know why I bought so many cleansers. I think I've got another one in here as well. <laughs> this is the Sarah V one. This is the normal to oily skin. So I've got oily skin. It's a flaming cleanser. Again, you've probably seen this all over TikTok, all over Instagram, all over everything. So I just thought, let me join the wave. Let me see what it's saying. I've got a couple of things from Benefit. They had 15% off. So I grabbed the Precisely My Brow in number 4.5. And I also picked up two of the 24 hour brow setters. One is for me, one is as a present for my sister. Um, she, there's just a random present, it's not like I'm ruining her Christmas present, but you know, when they've got money off and I know she likes them, so I thought, oh, let me just grab it. Eva Girls at Uni, she's doing a fantastic job. She's an angel and I love her. This is gonna give her a big head as well when she watches this, but she's seriously an angel and she deserves all of the love and all of the support. So Steph, I adore you. I got some mini tweezers and I got this NYX Professional Makeup White Eyeliner. I wanted like the jumbo one, the milk jumbo one from NYX that everyone uses, but they didn't have it. So I settled for this, but I'm sure it will still be great. I'm really just trying to run through this because we're going to be here forever. I also, I know you shouldn't really use wipes on your skin because they're really bad for your skin, but I always do. And I picked up these. These are biodegradable. Come on, boots. It says biodegradable micellar cleansing wipes with soothing aloe vera. So I grabbed up a couple packets of them. I think they're only about a pound each. And then again, on kind of that biodegradable vibe, these are reusable eco pads. I don't know why I only picked up one because they've only got three pads in each, but it's basically like a cotton pad that you can reuse. And I've got my micellar water here that I would like soak them in. So yeah, I'm excited to try these. They look cool. And it says a thousand washes per pad. So this one pack should give you 3,000 uses which is so cool and so good because I've got my little thing with all of my quarter pads in, and I go through quarter pads like nobody's business so I seriously when I saw these I was like yeah I should definitely pick those up this is the Maybelline eraser concealer this is everywhere I don't know why I've never picked one up this has been the hype for the longest time I seriously don't know why I haven't picked it up but I have now okay I have now okay let me off so this is the L'Oreal True Match. It's in the shade 1N Ivory. It looks pretty cute. But yeah, I just thought I don't have a lot of drugstore foundations. And I've seen good things about this one. I've also seen good things about the Maybelline, is it True Stay or something like that? So that's another one I need to pick up. But I couldn't, couldn't work out what my shade was going to be because there's no testers. So I'm like guessing. So this looks, I hope this looks about right. But we'll see. I also picked up the NYX Epic Ink Liner. This is in brown. I have been looking for a brown liner for a while. Not really found one that has been calling my name. And then I've heard such good things about the felt tip black NYX Epic Wear. So I thought, ah, oh, the black one's good. Hopefully the brown one's good. So yeah, picked that up too. And then the last couple of things from Boots are all from Fenty. So I picked up the Pro Filter Mattifying Primer. I got the mini because I have the hydrating one, the normal one, um, the like instant retouch or whatever it is. Um, and I really like it. And then I wanted to try the matte one, but I was like, oh, I like the other one. So what if I hate this? I don't want to get the big one. And then I realized I had a mini. So I got the mini. Also picked up one of the matchsticks. This is in the shade Amber. This is a cool toned contour shade. And I saw this on, I think her name is Caked Up Cassie on Instagram and it looked stunning on her so hopefully it'll look nice on me I hope so but she seriously looked so good and that's why I got it also then picked up a bigger version of the Fenty Glow I have a mini and it's almost out um so had to get a rea of the OG this is by far my favorite lip gloss ever I wear it all the time it is it's stunning any makeup look you're wearing it's stunning, it's ridiculous. It is so versatile. And then the last thing I got is the What It Do Face Mist. Um, do I need this? Absolutely not. Did I just feel a, like a calling from the inside of me to get this? Yeah. That's exactly why I got it. <laughs> I just see really good things. Apparently it smells nice. Um, and my setting spray is about to run out, listen. It's literally got the teeniest amount in it. I have actually got two spares. Um, so I really didn't need one. But I was using that as an excuse. But look how cute the package is. You see? I had to. It would have been rude of me to not get it. And I would never disrespect Rihanna. 
Next I think from Look Fantastic is the Translucent Loose Powder. This is a classic, never tried it, don't know why, but need to, which is why I grabbed it while it was money off. But yeah, Look Fantastic and P. Louise. I like you. Don't know, I like you, I do. You're cool, I like you a lot. However, the shipping situation from a, a big company I was thinking if you're like a really small brand, I'd get it. But from Look Fantastic, let me take it out. I was not pleased. I wasn't, can't lie, I just wasn't. But I think this ended up being about 20 instead of like 32. So like, I'll let you off. Then I grabbed three things from Beauty Bay. I picked up their day one moisturizer. They recently came out with like a whole range of skincare and it looks super cute. Lots of it was sold out though, so I'm guessing it's pretty popular. I'm not sure. But yeah, I just thought it was look at the cute little packaging. And I think it was like 50% off, so I think I picked this up for about three pounds, which is so cheap. So I thought, yeah, even if I hate it, it only cost me three pounds, so let me grab it. Next thing, this is actually a recommendation I got from one of my favourite people ever, Gemma. She is one of my best friends. I love her and she loves this stuff. So I think it's normally about 24.50 and I think I got it for 15 because it was on like 40% off or 50% off or whatever it was. So yeah, I grabbed this and it is a huge bottle. When it said it was 25 pounds, I didn't want to buy it. I genuinely thought it was going to be, I'm trying to look for something smaller. I genuinely did not think it was going to be, like this is big, this is huge. So actually I do think this would have been worth the normal 25 and I will definitely repurchase. I haven't used it yet. So that bit's just like how it comes. But the, if I like it, I'm 100% rebuying this for full price. I don't care because this is, this is seriously, look at the size of my head. This is huge. My head's pretty big. My head is so big. And then lastly from Beauty Bay, I picked up the Doll Beauty Highlighter. This is in the shade Like a Diamond. Oh, it's on the front like a diamond this highlighter and the other one is it shine bright or shine i can't remember what it's called but so this is the slightly more pearly one the other one is slightly golder slightly a little bit darker these highlighters have been everywhere but they were 15 pounds and because we can't do swatches and i'm quite pale i always get a dark cast over my skin and i have a couple highlighters that i bought recently that i've literally been able to use once or twice because they're just too they're too dark for me and i didn't didn't realise or I wouldn't have got them obviously they just don't suit me which isn't a big deal but hopefully this will suit me and I got this for I think 10.50 instead of 15 with the discount so that was pretty cool Touch me you know going like oh you know I'm cute and all that or reactive do you know who else messaged me putting a like the, the little love heart emoji reaction who? <laughs> oh, weirdo the gossip I grabbed one thing from Cop Beauty um, I normally grab quite a few but I'd had just placed an order not long before Black Friday, so there wasn't really anything I had my eye on. But I did pick up this milk contour stick. This is in the shade Baked, and it looks super cute. I've been looking at this for a while. I think it was 24 without discount, but I got it for definitely less, but I can't remember. But anyway, I'm super excited. I love my Milk Makeup Hydro Primer. Obviously, I use it honestly every day. And I have a couple other things from Milk. I've got mascara, lip gloss, I've got a face wash and a moisturiser. And I love all of them. So I saw I saw someone else use this. I can't remember who. I cannot remember. But I saw someone else use it and it looked super cute on them. And I was like, I want to look super cute too. So here it is. <laughs> Hopefully I'll be looking super cute soon. <laughs> Last three websites now. So Urban Decay. Lash Freak. If you watch anyone, Nicole Concilio, if you watch Danny DeFreyas, if you watch um, Plastic Boy, if I think Twee said it as well, but I have seen so many people raving about this mascara, so now I have it. That's all I'm going to say on it. I haven't used it, I haven't tried it, but it is the last week from Urban Decay and I've heard so many good reviews on it that I had to grab it. And then this is the exact same backstory. This is the Stay Naked Urban Decay. This has also been raved about from the Plastic Boy, Jamie Genevieve, loads of people like this. So I finally grabbed it. This is in the shade 20NN. 
I could have got 10 nm or I could have got a 30 nm and I really wasn't sure so I just thought I'll go for 20. So hopefully this is my right shade, this is just me guessing. Um, that wasn't a foul, that was my chair. Wait, let me do it again. Oh, I can't do it again. See, it was the chair. Hopefully this is my right shade, I literally just ordered it online so cross your fingers. So, second to last thing. This is the Makeup by Mitchell blush. So I am currently wearing the Sweet Cheeks blush or blush. I don't really know how to say it. The blush. And this is in the shade where it's the SPF. I'll show you. It is this stunning, like, bright red colour. So I thought the name was so funny. Look how cute she is. I love her. But I'm currently wearing the Sweet Cheeks one. Let me show you. This is her. I put on a little bit much, but actually you can never have too much, so whatever. And I also picked up, da, 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 da. I don't know if I'll get the Head in the Clouds palette, like it's really pretty, but like, I don't know if I need it. The pattern on the background is like throwing me off and it's £40, which is a lot of money. And then, and then Mama Mitchell said, So it comes in this super cute pouch, same way that the other one did. And then, stop it. I literally haven't taken this out since it arrived. Oh my goodness, stunning packaging. Oh, it's got a little note on it. Like, in the actual palette, it says, hello my fellow dreamers. I just wanted to say thank you for joining me on this journey. This truly means the world to me and I owe all of this to you. I have always been told to keep my feet on the ground and have my head in the clouds. It's got me this far in life and I believe it can make your wildest dreams a beautiful reality too. Open your heart and stand your ground. Have empathy and know you are still number one. Blend without fear, but don't blend in. Oh, why do I feel like I'm gonna cry? I don't even know, Mitchell. It then says, keep dreaming, baby, the world is yours. That is so incredibly sweet then went down to 24 pounds instead of 40 and then i could justify it i really could it has a humongous mirror seriously seriously stunning but what was throwing me off and it's still i can't like still throw me off just a bit is that they have this pattern without the m but this pattern on the back and i am used to palettes looking like for example the other made by mitchell one I'm used to the palettes looking like this just with a plain one color base and then you can like see all the colors still but with this like multi-colored base don't get me wrong it seriously is stunning but it completely threw me off i couldn't even work out what the color scheme was or what colors were there because the background was just it still is throwing me off and also maybe i'm a little bit um more boring but like some of the colours that are similar, like these three yellows, or the blue, the blue, and the blue, or purpley blue, you know, would have been more grouped together or slightly closer. So it just, it just feels a little bit like, oh, I don't know, there's so much going on, you know. But then when it went to £24, I had to grab her. I had to. Okay, so last, but by no means least. Da, 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 da. Stunning. So this is... So I don't have a lot from Charlotte Tilbury because I personally think that she is expensive. She is expensive. She, she's going to take all your coins and run. So I ordered this um, a couple of days before actual Black Friday, but it was in their Black Friday sales. So I got, in my opinion, a fantastic deal. So I picked up, I picked up a set and it's the Magic Powder Under Eye and Face, the Magic Vanish Under Eye and Face Cheat, and the Airbrush Flawless Foundation. These three came in a set, and I think I got about £30 off. I think the set was supposed to be something like 90 and I got it for something like 60 I can't remember exactly, but I think it was about, it sounds about right because I think it was 30% off. I think it was something like 94 and I got it for 61 Something like that, I can't remember exactly. I got the foundation in the shade 2 Neutral. And this foundation I've heard so much about. So much about. So I needed, I needed it. 
I did. And then it kind of came in the set with the powder and the kind of concealer thing. And as the set was 60, the foundation was what, like 34 anyway? I thought, let me just grab these. I didn't really need them. Let me just grab these anyway. And then I realized that they had, if you spend over a certain amount, you got a free eye palette. And there were a couple more things that I wanted anyway. So I thought, let me grab some. So I also picked up the Airbrush Flawless Setting Spray. This has been everywhere. This was seriously, this wasn't just like, oh, I need it. This was, I actually genuinely need it. I'm in love. I can't live without, look at, this packaging is so luxury. Everything Charlotte Tilbury screams expensive. The packaging of the like outside packaging, the actual packaging, I got this fancy little box. She screams, she screams luxury. And I'm all the way here for it. I then also picked up one of these. This is the Filmstar Bronze and Glow. I actually picked up two of these. I got one for my sister as well, just as a little, a little gift. I have seen this everywhere. One of my girlfriends, Neve, has this. And she has the big version. I got too many versions because this was only £25. And I think the big version is more like 45 and I was like, whoa, <laughs> steady on, because that's expensive. I was like, well, 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 money. this is a lot of money. Um, but yeah, I grabbed one of these. My friend Neve has it, and she loves it. I've seen her use it multiple times. Every time, I think she looks, Neve is stunning anyway. All of my friends are stunning. All of them are stunning. Gulped and highlight. So this is quite a cool toned bronze, which is why I wanted it. I already have quite a few warm tone ones, so I when I saw that this was cool toned and it was the 25 for the mini version because I think this the small version is limited edition. So I got this for free because I spent over, I don't wanna talk about it. <laughs> and this is the Bella Sophia Luxury Palette. This is super cute, it's very like simple and sparkly. Am I excited by this? A little bit, but not a lot if I'm honest. It is stunning, her packaging is stunning. But this on its own, if I had just bought it without getting it for free because I bought over a certain amount, would have cost me £42. And this is not something I would spend £42 on on an ordinary day. I haven't tried it yet. Maybe I'll say, wow, this is the best quality eyeshadow ever. Um, but without sounding like horrible to Charlotte Tilbury, I doubt it. Like, I think £42 for this is extortionate. However... I haven't tried it yet I'm gonna try it obviously and it is you know really nice colors really flattering and sort of neutrally so it's not gonna be too in your face but yeah that was expensive and then the last thing I got from Charlotte Tilbury and the last thing I have to show you today is this it's the legendary lashes this is volume two it did come in the packet but I already took it out the packaging for this is really stunning oh and she is a pretty she is a pretty girl. But I am very excited for everything I bought today. The things I'm probably most excited for are definitely the Charlotte Tilbury foundation, the Fenty contour. I'm looking forward to trying the Inky List products. I've heard such great things about that brand. Um, I've already tried this, but I'm excited for the new colour. What else did I get? I'm very excited for the Doll Beauty highlight. I'm super excited for the um, ISO or ISO, I think it's ISO Clean, the spray for your makeup brushes. Thank you, Gemma, you gorgeous person, for recommending that to me. Um, what else am I excited for? To be honest, I'm excited for everything. That's why I bought all of the stuff. I'm excited to try the um, P. Louise base. Not the base, sorry. The um, Acid Rain paints. Haven't tried them before, and they're slightly different to the normal bases. So that's exciting too. But anyway, I will end the video here. If you did, that is everything I bought. I really hope you enjoyed this video. I love filming stuff like this because I'm so excited I only bought it because I want it and I'm excited for it so I love filming them I tried to go as fast as I could because there was so much um so hope I really hope this video isn't too long if it is I am really sorry but there was so much to get through so I feel like it's kind of just a vibe but I am really sorry for this video it was super super long <sighs> I'm so excited I can't tell you how excited I am I also know that I have mascara smudged here so you don't need to mention it you don't. I was too excited to film a video to bother to clean it. 
So I know, there she is, look at her. Oh no, she's back there. But anyway, thank you so much for watching. If you did enjoy this video, please remember to give it a thumbs up. I really hope you enjoyed it because I seriously enjoyed filming it. And make sure you subscribe to my channel. I would really, really appreciate it. And I will see you in my next video. I will see you in my next one. I will see you in my next one. I will see you in So what are you doing now with your grey hair? Grey? You've hit, you've hit, you've hit. Oh, what, what, so this is Icy Blonde. You look like Lagatha out of Vikings. Do you watch that? It's a really good show on Amazon Prime. No, I haven't. Oh, seen it's really it. good. And when she gets old, she gets grey hair, but it's like sort of grey blonde, like you've got really long. Mum said I look like Gandalf, and Dad said I look like Legolas. I think I look like that woman from um, the one I showed you from The Incredibles. Oh, the. Uh, she's such she's a baddie. Like she's, she's like a bad guy at first, and yeah. then she turns out to be nice. Yeah. That's what I think I look like. Okay. But it's icy blonde, it's not grey. Well. <laughs> I mean, it's, a like well it's a bit like ginger scent. And, and strawberry and, blonde. Yeah, like, and strawberry like, blonde. And it, all it. Wow, I want so much from Boots. Boots, can you sponsor me? I've bought so much. No one can talk to me, no one can talk to me, no one can talk to me. No, you can't, you can't say it. They were because of me, they were because of me, they were because of me.